Well, hello, entrepreneurs. Today, we are going to discuss about what is a funnel. Not the funnel what you have used for your pouring up the liquid into a bottle or something. We are talking about marketing funnel. What is it? So that means if you already have a product or a service, then the first thing what you want to know is how do I sell it? How do I market their products or service? So today we'll dive deep into it uh, to understand uh, how the funnel works. So that means how you can market your products or services to the whole world at large uh, using the concept of a funnel, okay? So now if you see here, this is how a marketing funnel looks like. So that means uh, this is how you will uh, you know, uh, sell your products or service, okay? Now, first thing is awareness. What does that mean? So that means we have to let people know you are present, okay? So you cannot sell your products right away in the in advertisement. You're saying that, okay, buy this product, buy the product. So that never works out. So people need to know who you are, your identity, okay? And uh, that in a way it's called as well lead generation. So that means uh, uh, in the marketing world, you may be uh, giving out some of your um, uh, videos. You may publish some videos or some of your blog posting or uh, you know some you can give out some uh, lead magnet kind of you know um, so we'll discuss about what is the lead magnet in another another video but uh, you know so let's say free free ebook could be a lead magnet that means you generate the lead okay so that is called lead generation or you are making people know that you exist okay now then is a consideration, okay, or lead nurturing, they say. So that means, let's say you have John, okay, John uh, sees you and, you know, on your uh, YouTube video, okay, and uh, let's say you are into working, workout, okay, and John sees you, there, okay, now Joe is in the workout, okay, so, and what kind of a workout? Let's say Joe teaches workout at home, how you can work out, you know, different techniques uh, or cardiovascular uh, sort of exercises at home. Then, okay, now uh, John uh, is aware of who you are and what do you um, stand for or what exactly, you know, you, you believe in. And then the next is a consideration, okay? Now, if you see lead generation to consideration in the right hand side, you know, the picture, it depicts that, uh, you know, the lead nurturing, okay, or which is the consideration as you can see the comparison here. That is a most important step where, you know, once the lead comes in, that means if somebody's interested in what exactly you do with that person, that is lead generation, okay. And then uh, sorry, that is need nurturing. Nurturing means so what you are doing is you are, uh, you know, creating that interest, okay, in your product or service or in yourself, okay. So that is, uh, you know, so that means you are making people aware or projecting yourself as 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 an authority, as someone who knows the things. That is, uh, you know, the interest. And then is the consideration. So that means, so you are letting them to consider you as a problem solver, okay? So that means, uh, you know, if you see here, there are two steps in the right side, there are two steps. That means it takes a bit of a time. As soon as you let people know who you are, you can just let them know right away, you know, through any, uh, any sort of a media. However, the next step is creating that interest and letting them consider you as a problem solver, okay? Now, this requires a bit of a, you know, trust. So that means you're building up the trust. You are building up a rapport. They, they believe in you now, okay? And then lead, lead nurturing. So in a, in, a, in a world where, let's say you are into online business, okay? then what exactly you do in this lead nurturing phase is uh, you send them you know automated emails okay this called autoresponder so you send them emails letting them know that uh, uh, you know your your knowledge just share your knowledge with them with uh, you know different uh, different emails so that they know that they, they believe in you now they, they trust you now okay and then this next step is uh, as you can see here, conversion. So that means uh, 
after you give them enough value, they, they know you, they understand you, they, they know that, okay, this is the right kind of a person and this person can solve my problem is the next step where the sales has been done. So that means you can offer them, hey, I have this thing uh, you know, for you uh, if you want to buy from me. And then that is where you, know, you can convert those leads which came you know, in the beginning into a, uh, into a sale, okay? So it works like a funnel. That means a lot of people may be aware of your um, uh, you know, brand or products and services, or, or you can let them be aware of your products and services. However, when it goes down to conversion, so you'll see that there will be less and less people, okay? And only, you, this is a filtration process. The so marketing was like a filtration process where those people who do not um, you know, get on with you well, or they do not match with your kind of a thought process or what you sell, uh, then, you know, you will just, uh, you know, weed them out and you will all, you are only qualifying those people who are, uh, you know, who has the same kind of interest, uh, you know, like you, and they starting to like you as well. And that's how you can eventually uh, make a sell. Okay. Now, again, in when you are uh, doing the sell as well, if you see there are three steps here on the right side, if you see intent, evaluation and purchase. Okay. So that means uh, people may show you an intention to buy. Okay. That means uh, they are not sure yet. So they, they may, uh, you know, sometimes people can get into your shopping cart, but they may not buy. That is, that is showing, they, they are showing the intent. Then evaluation. So that means, uh, you know, after showing the intent, then they evaluate that whether I am taking a right decision or not. So listen, I, I uh, one of my business mentors, I, I um, you know, learned that, that people buy with emotion and then they justify it by logic, okay? So it's an emotion. Sales is always, you know, when somebody wants to buy something, it's, uh, it's a lot of emotion attached. So that means, uh, you know, uh, at this time of evaluation, they're evaluating whether this is the right thing or not, okay? And that is, again, a, another completely different topic altogether. How do they evaluate? How can you make a sale? That's a completely uh, different topic altogether. But hope this helps. Marketing funnel, uh, you know, how does that work? And how, what exactly is your step now when you have a product or service? Start to make, uh, do not try to sell them, but start to promote yourself, start to, uh, you know, put your message out, you know, let the whole world know what you stand for with, okay? So with that, we are done and over and 